Everyone who hears the words of Jesus and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down. The streams rose and the winds blew, beat against the house, yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who... Excuse me, sir. Can I help you? Uh, um, I'm looking for the open house. Open house. Um, yeah, Sunny Day Realty has an open house here today, right? Uh, not here. No, ma'am. I don't understand. I mean, the address was 1060 West Addison. Isn't this 1060 West Addison? Uh, oh, you're looking for the sand house. Sand house? Mm. Yes, the builder set the foundation for that house on sand. This guy, what? Don't you think that's silly? That is really silly. Everyone mm -hmm. knows you can't build a house on sand. Mm-hmm. This guy didn't, okay? He built the house on sand, then the rain came down, and the wind, and then... And then... Uh, no more house. Was it blown away? Blown away, more like, uh, well, you can still see some of the pieces uh, up the street from the, here. Uh, lovely windows and uh, the tile roof. It was really nice. Yeah. That's disappointing. Mm -hmm. That's true. Uh, well, um, hey, better to find out now than after you move in, right? Well, yeah, yeah. that's true. I mean, I want a house that's built on a solid foundation. Like Jesus. Actually, I prefer limestone for my house, but for my life, definitely Jesus. The winds and rains of life can come and go, and I know I will stand strong because of Jesus. Even if your house doesn't. Exactly. Well, sorry about the house. Yeah. Don't be. I mean, like you said, it's for the best. I, I, I want a strong foundation for my house. Just like I want to have a strong foundation for Jesus. Amen to that. Hey kids, it's now time for our memory verse. Have you been practicing? Okay, here we go. Then Jesus said, whoever has ears should listen. Mark 4, 9. And I R V, or as we would say, nerve. Okay, kids. If you are here in person, we have put a bunch of papers at the back of the room and we're gonna work together in groups and take turns turning the pages over and arranging them in the right order. Are you ready? Right. Okay, icebreaker. What is the coolest thing that you ever built with Lego? This one's pretty cool. Have you ever noticed that the tops of buildings are usually more narrow then on the bottom. From the Great Pyramids of Egypt to the skyscrapers in New York City, buildings are smaller and more narrow at the top than they are at the bottom. Okay, there's a good reason for that, and it's not hard to figure out. A building needs a strong foundation. If you don't have strength at the root of the building, where it's anchored to the ground, your building is simply not going to last. So if it's this way instead of, you know, that wouldn't, no. From houses to hotels to office towers to stadiums, wise buildings set their foundations solid. They go down deep into the ground to solid rock. They establish a strong, wide base. They make sure they have a firm foundation so their building will withstand the elements. Do you know what those are? A strong foundation is especially important in the places that see a lot of stormy weather. Florida, for example, has some of the strictest building codes in the nation because of hurricane season. People want their home to be in the same place in the same condition after the storm as it was before. Imagine that. They want a house that can take the high winds and the rain and still stand firm. Not every storm in life has rain and wind. Some storms come into our personal lives. 
our families, our relationships, these storms can be just as powerful and just as destructive as any hurricane. Jesus knows we need a firm foundation for our life if we want to weather these storms. Jesus is that firm foundation. Let's read Luke 6, 46 to 49. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, but you don't do what I say? The people who come to me, who listen to my teachings and obey them, they are like a man building a house. He digs deep and builds his house on a rock. The floods come and the water crashes against the house, but the flood cannot move the house because it was built well. But the people who hear my words and do not obey are like a man who builds a house without preparing a foundation. When the floods come, the house falls down easily and is completely destroyed. A firm foundation will make a house stand strong when the wind blows. A firm foundation will protect the family inside from rain, hail, and the destructive forces of nature. A firm foundation will keep the house standing year after year, no matter what the weather may be. Jesus wants to give us a firm foundation for life. He wants us to stand strong against temptation. He wants us to be able to withstand peer pressure and the forces that want to draw us to sin. He wants us to stand strong and not crumble when it seems everyone else around us is doing the wrong thing. Jesus wants us to stand strong when tragedy strikes, when there's trouble at home, when there's a death in the family, when there's a problem between you and a close friend. Jesus wants to give you the strength you need to weather that storm. Jesus will give you courage. He will make you strong. He will give you a strong faith. Jesus is a foundation for a strong life. If we build our life on Jesus, there is no storm that will ever shake us. Of all the parables we've studied in this series, this one sums up the message of the Bible the best. The world we live in is a troubled place. God's creation was marred with sin when it entered the world, bringing with it sickness and death. There is nothing we can do to stop the storms of life from coming. There is no place we can live to avoid them. But if we trust in Jesus, we can be prepared for whatever life brings us. Jesus is the firm foundation because he is our savior. Jesus is the only man who never sinned and he was the only one who could pay the price for our sins. Jesus conquered sin and death when he rose from the grave. If we accept Jesus as our Savior, He will send His Holy Spirit to live in our hearts. If you've never given your heart to Jesus, you can make Him your foundation today. You can receive the gift of the Holy Spirit and begin a relationship with Him today. Jesus will be your strength in good times and in bad times, and He will help you through the storms of life. If you have already asked Jesus to be your Savior, we want to encourage you to keep growing in your relationship with Jesus. Spend time with him every day. Pray, read the Bible, praise him for the good things he does in your life. The closer you become in good times, the stronger your foundation will be in the storms. Jesus is the firm foundation. If we are wise, we will build our house on Jesus. This is our invitation to lay the foundation this is your invitation to make Jesus the cornerstone of your life. Okay, kids, and we're going to close with a prayer. You can close your eyes or leave them open. We're going to talk to Jesus. Dear God, help us to build our lives on Jesus. And thank you for being our foundation. In Jesus' name, amen. Hello. Hey, it's time for... My favorite part. Discussion questions. Okay. All right. What did the wise builder build his house upon? Don't think it was sand. The other one, the other one. Uh, rock. Yes. A firm A foundation. firm foundation. <laughs> yes. Okay, next one. What happened when the storm hit the wise men's house? Mm hmm. Mm. Two options. Mm. It either fell down or it stayed standing. Yep. Definitely stayed standing. Yes, stayed standing. Did you get that, kids? 
What happened to the foolish man's house? Oh, that's oh. the opposite answer. That's from our play, remember? <laughs> what happened there? It came down. It certainly did. What is the firm foundation of our lives? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is also big. sometimes referred to as the rock. The rock? Yes. Mm -hmm. Also known as Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Very good. And how can we build our lives on Jesus? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I think we should focus on the memory verse, right? Mm -hmm. About having ears to listen. And mm -hmm. anyways. Okay, so we have to listen to what he has to say. And in case you're wondering how we know what Jesus has to say, you, re you have to read your Bible. Those are his words. That's yeah. right. Yay. Good job. See you next week. Okay. Hang on. <laughs> what? All right. That's fine for the icebreaker. I don't know what. I just... We are getting, we are getting, we are getting to the end, end of this. What is it called? <laughs> Solo Tower. It gets, we are going to play a game called Solo Towers. If you're at home, you can find some cups and make this work with a few people from the house. Choose two players at a time for this game. Each player gets six solo cups or, well, any type of cups will do, as long as they can stack. The two players will race to see who can build a tower out of solo cups by stacking them top to top, bottom to bottom, one on top of the next. The first person to stack all six cups in a tower wins. Or the person who has the most cups stacked up after 60 seconds has elapsed wins. Okay, <laughs> what's the point? Make Jesus the foundation for your life.